Oh hello beautiful people and Linux fans, I hope you have a wonderful week so far. Today in this hopefully really short video I would like to show you how to install a newer kernel for your Debian installation. As you may know even with the latest point release of Debian 12.6 they keep the LTS, the old LTS kernel, which is 6.1. I'll show you. If I can type correctly, of course. Yeah, and this kernel is getting pretty old by now. I think the latest available is 6.10. So let's see how easy, fast we can update this kernel to the latest available to Debian. Let's check it out. First of all, this is a fresh, a really fresh install of Debian. I have just installed it. The only thing that I did is, well, of course, updated it and installed a simple screen recorder so I can record this video. As you can see, I am running X11 here. And without wasting any more time, let's get to the installation for this video. And yes, I am of course talking about the licorice kernel. This is getting pretty famous. It's an old kernel. It's a patched kernel. If you are using Arch, this is similar to the Zen kernel, which is really optimized for let's say gaming and content creation but the good part is it's the latest available kernel and it's pretty easy to install they have this let's say bash script and it's just a matter of copy and paste so that's what we are going to do just copy the command open the terminal and paste it of course, we don't have curl. We will install this little quick. All right, now we have curl installed and we can try this one more time. And as you can see, it's pulling everything that it's needed and the one that it's going to be installed it's 6.9 which is pretty good it's almost the latest available as i said before the latest is 6.10 but i think right now it's available only on arch linux so let's see how quick it's going to install And don't worry guys, I will leave this page in the description down of this video. And of course you can read a little bit more about this kernel. You of course can try it, see how you like it. But I would recommend it, especially on Debian systems. Because this could be installed on Arch of course. <laughs> And that's it. That's all you have to do. Now this kernel is installed successfully and all we have to do to start using it is of course reboot our system. So I will go ahead and do that and I'll come back after the reboot. Alright guys, so we are back after the reboot. Let's see, are we successful? So the kernel we are running right now, it's of course the 6.9, which is pretty awesome. As you can see, this was pretty easy to do. And of course, you can still run the old 6.1. You have to just use the boot menu, go to the advanced options and see which and choose which kernel you want to boot in right now. But for some reason, if you are not happy with this 
latest kernel or gives you any troubles, just well remove it. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you for today. I hope you have a great day. Please do let me know what you think in the comments section down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!